The following is on the horizontal curve calculations, the circular curve elements. We're given this scenario. Assume that we have an intersection angle of 8 degrees in 24 minutes. So that means the back tangent coming in and the forward tangent coming out gives us this intersection angle of 8 degrees 24 minutes. We know the PI station is 64 plus 27.46. And the terrain conditions require us to have a minimum radius of 2,864.79 feet to the PC and the PT based on an arc definition. Now, we're required to figure out what the PC station is and the PT station is. That means we have to figure out the circular curve element tangent length to calculate back to the PC and the, whole, the length of the curve to calculate PT. In addition, we have to figure out the degree of curve, the long chord, the external distance, and the middle ordinate for this curve. So this is what we have. We're going to be using the solutions and we'll have to figure out the equations of the length of curve, which is 2 pi times the radius and the intersection angle. So we've, we're given the r and the i. We'll figure out the tangent, which is equal to the radius times the tangent of the intersection angle divided by 2. The PC station means I figure out what the PI's, PI station to figure out the PC station, I know the PI station, and I'm going to subtract backwards um, to get the PC station. The length, the long chord, is going to be 2 times r times the sine of the intersection angle divided by 2. The degree of curve is 100 divided by the intersection angle divided by the length of curve. Note, however, for this equation, i is in degrees. Sometimes i is also known as delta or an internal angle. The PT is actually going to be the PC plus this length of curve right here. So if I know the PC and I add that length of curve, I can get the PT. The middle ordinate uh, distance is going to be the radius times 1 minus cosine of the internal ex intersection angle divided by 2. And the ex um, external distance is the radius um, multiplied by the 1 over the cosine of the intersection angle divided by 2 minus 1. Now in all of these equations, notice that what we're given. Once we figure out 1, we'll be plugging it into our other equations. So we have to know T before we can find PC. We can figure out the long chord just by knowing the R which we're given and the intersection angle that we're given. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing is, is we're going to find out the length of curve. We're going to take the radius and we're going to use the intersection angle 8 degrees. So we plug it into our equation and we figure out that this length of curve right here, we're taking the radius times the intersection angle times pi over 180 is equal to 420 feet. Why are we taking pi over 180? Because 2 cancels out the, the 360 and makes 180. And we're just taking this pi and placing it here. So when you put this into your calculator, make sure that you know what you're doing in the calculator and make sure that your calculator is co correctly um, using the degrees and minutes. So the degree of curve is 100 divided by the intersection angle over the length. So we just figured out the length is 420. So we're going to take 100 times that intersection angle, this angle up here, divided by the 420, and we're going to get uh, 2 degrees and 0 minutes. This, is, this shouldn't be here. This is just, it should have been an equal sign, part of the equal sign. The tangent is equal to the radius. Here's our radius, and that was given. And the intersection angle is 8 degrees, 24 minutes. We plug it into the equation and we'll get the tangent length, this distance from the PC to the PI, and also the PI to the PT, is 210.38 feet. Now, we're ready to calculate our station equations for PC and PT. Now the equation is PC is equal to this PI station subtracting out this tangent length, the tangent length being the 210.38 and the PT is going to be taking the PC that we figured and then adding the length of curve. So here we go. 
So the PI station is 64 plus 27.46. That was given. We're going to subtract the, the 210.38, but the way we write it in station equations, remember, is 2 plus 10.38. That's going to give us a PC station here of 62 plus 17.08. Now, we're going to add the 420 feet, but again, we write it based on station equations. We take that 100 and then hit do a plus sign and then 20. So we're going to take the 62 and add it to the 4, the 17 plus the 20 point, the 1708 plus the 20. And we're going to get 66, point, 66 plus 37.08 for the PT. Now, we're going to figure out the rest of the circular curve elements. So I want to figure out what the long chord is. The long chord is going to be 2 times the radius sine of the intersection angle divided by 2. So we plug it into our equation and we come up with 419.62 feet. So that's the length from the PC to the PT, a straight line for our long chord. The middle ordinate here is based on the equation saying that the radius times this expression is going to give us this distance between the, the, where the long chord is and the middle of the curve. So we plug it in, we say the radius times 1 minus cosine of the intersection angle divided by 2 is going to give us, so this distance right here is only 7.69 feet. And lastly, this intersection angle here is going to be the radius, what we know, times 1 over the cosine of the intersection angle over 2 minus 1. So we're going to plug that into our calculator. Always remember when you're doing these calculations, orders of operation, especially in these. The orders of operation here is we'll have to do what's in the parentheses first. So we're going to do the cosine, and then we're going to take 1 divided by the cosine of this angle. We're going to subtract 1, and then we're going to multiply it by the 2,864. So that distance from the center of this curve to the PI is 7.71 feet. All right, so that's it for this example.